Hi, Katie. Welcome to Cape Time Story Time, where today we are traveling to Australia. Oh. Fuchsia fish. Hey, storyteller. Fuchsia. Yes. Do you mind getting your cousin Tibby Tiburon to stop biting the book? Oh, you see, the thing is, storyteller, that Tibby considers himself oh native Australian. Is he from Australia? Technically, no. But he feels very at home there. So the minute that he hears anything having to do with Australia, well, you can see he's transfixed. Yeah, he's really going to dig this book. Do you mind if uh, maybe you can get him to detach his jaws from it so we can read it? Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, what was I thinking? Uh, Tippy. Oh. Tibby, oh. Tibby, let the nice storyteller read the book that will take us to Australia. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, you can bite it afterwards. I just said that so he'll stop. Okay. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh boy, he really loves Australia. Johnny Skip 2, The Amazing Adventures of Johnny Skip 2 in Australia. Are you ready to travel, mate? That's one of my favorite things to do by book. Go traveling to places far away without the expensive plane ticket. Hey, my name is Johnny, but all my friends call me Johnny Skip Two. That's because I skip all over the world. Come along with me and you can skip too. We can use my little device. I call it the amazing instant travel skip Two. It's 50% magic and 50% science, but all together, it's 100% cool. Very cool sounding. Collecting little things is what I love to do. Do you like collecting little things too? Well, as a matter of fact, I used to collect shells once upon a time, little guy. I have little bitty books. Hey, me too. Baskets and bags. I collect mini toy pugs and multicolored mugs. What an interesting collection you have, kid. Very interesting. Although my best friend is little and rounder, he's an eager brown beagle whose first name is Grounder. Our travel gear is ready. We're off on another journey. There's no time to waste. Come on now, let's hurry. Will you travel with us? Yes! We could really use your help. Australia is amazing. Come see it for yourself. Well, don't mind if I do, Johnny. The amazing instant travel skip to buzzes. Bzzz. When you press the button, begin. It pauses for a moment and pulls us all in. Off we go quickly and travel so swiftly. Look at that. Past the Statue of Liberty in New York City. Well, some argue it's in New Jersey, but technically it's in New York City, but really it's in between the two of them. The amazing instant travel skip two is quite fantastic and fast. It makes all of our trips a tremendous blast. And in a blink, we land in a field with tall rocks and pale grass. Ooh, so we're very outdoorsy now. Oh, I'm really enjoying this trip, Johnny Skip. Welcome to Australia. Thank you. The place where they say good day. To fit in with the locals, we've got to speak their way. It means, it never means we're leaving. It's just like saying, hey. Now, say it like a true Aussie. Instead of hello, we say good day. All right, let's practice. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day, mate. Something like that. Now, let's head out to the outback for a special kind of fruit. They're called Muntree berries, and they taste like smoky apples do. I've never heard of such a thing. I can't even think about it, what a smoky apple would taste like. Oh, this is good to know for when, you know, we actually go to Australia. If we look around very carefully, we're bound to find some clues. Grounder will lead the way as we head out on the move. Wait a minute. Look over there. Do you see that hand waving? Let's go over there behind those trees to see what she is saying. I see a, I see a kangaroo. Oh, let's go over there and let's see what she's saying. Does he speak kangaroo? It's a lady kangaroo. What are we supposed to say? Do we say hello, Mrs. Kangaroo? No, that's right. We say good day. She says, 
Good day to you too, mates. I don't want to seem rude, but my little Joey is missing, and I don't know what to do. Oh my goodness! Oh my gracious! I'm so very confused. Could you help me out, mates? I appreciate anything you can do. Oh, my Australian accent is just abysmal. These worried words are from a mama kangaroo. How is it we can tell? A joey is simply a baby kangaroo. So when she's saying that she's confused and and that her little joey is missing, well, that means her baby is missing. So of course, Mama Roo is freaking out right now. Do Do you think we should help her out? Yes. Is there something we can do? Probably. I've got an idea. We'll find her little Joey while looking for our fruit. Mrs. Kangaroo smiles and says, "No gift could be kinder." My Joey's name is Rashida. Please tell me if you find her. Okay, now I sound Irish. We tell her hoo hoo for now. Please let me tell you why. Why? The word hoo hoo is Aussie. It means for now goodbye. Oh, so instead of like see you later, see you soon, you say hoo hoo. That's kind of a fun word to say. Hoo hoo. You can check around front while I check around back. Keep your eyes open for baby kangaroo tracks. We're hot upon the trail. Let's see where these tracks go. Okay, let's see. They go past the trees and down the road. We're headed through the bush, and it's many, many miles wide. Bush is just the word that means Australian countryside. Oh, so when you hear about the Australian bush, it's the countryside. See, they have, even though they speak English like we speak English, they have their own words for many, many things. It's the same thing in England and other、uh, English-speaking countries. They have their own slangs and sayings. As we take a look around, there are plenty of things to find. There are many plants and fruits and nuts and animals of all kind, like kangaroos, uh huh, cockatoos, right there. Dingoes, I think that's a dingo. Crocs and bandicoots. I guess that's a bandicoot. Boy, Johnny sure knows his way around Australia. I bet he's been here before because he's extremely knowledgeable. He'd be a good tour guide. There are even birds too big to hide. They're called emus, but they don't fly. Oh, that's true. The emu is the largest bird, but it cannot fly, and it's Australian. But let's get back to our search. I feel suddenly like we're getting very close. If we look a little harder, a clue could be under our nose. Just as I begin to say it, what is it that that we find? A patch full of muntry berries with a joey hiding inside. Whoa! He found the berries and the joey all at the same time. Success. Excuse me, little Joey. Is your name Rashida? She looks up with a smile and says, "Yes, it is. Nice to meet you." Please hurry along with us. We need to move quick in a hurry. Your mom is looking for you, and she's been very worried. Oof! I hope mom's not mad. Rashida says, "Thank you, kind mates. It's been very scary. As a way of saying thanks, please take some of these berries." We return to Mrs. Kangaroo, and she thanks us through and through. And now it's time to say goodbye, or as the Aussies say, "Hooroo!" Ah, hooroo! That means he'll be back. We really saved the day, Grounder, me, and you too. Come along with us on our next adventure, and we'll travel someplace new. Ooh, how exciting! And he's a good. Good travel companion because he really knows his way around. We can go any place, no matter where you choose. Just remember your friend Johnny and the amazing instant travel skip to. Oh man, I need to get myself one of those things, Johnny. I cannot wait to go to Australia for the very first time. <sighs> oh boy, Fuchsia, Fuchsia, bloop, 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 bloop. Yes, sorry, tell us. Sorry, I was enjoying a molten milkshake. I like to get those when I come up to land. Uh, <clears throat> oh, ha ha ha! Tibby, Tibby Tiburon. Oh, he's just incorrigible. He's always trying to eat inappropriate things, especially since he became vegetarian. Tibby, Tibby, 
<laughs> yes, I know, I know. Why don't you come and have a milkshake with me? It's vegetarian. Huh? Yes, you'll love it. It's lots of flavors. You want vanilla? <laughs> how about strawberry? <laughs> I know. How about triple chocolate? Oh, let's go. Oh. oh, see, you just need to find the right lure for that one. See you next time, kid. And remember, it's fun to travel the world, just like I do. See you next time, kid, on Kid Time Story Time, and subscribe so you don't miss a single trip around the world.